To be connected in a world that thrives off of human interaction is the greatest fulfillment. Connection is something we have all taken for granted. A simple embrace of a friend or an unmasked smile of a coworker. We were not meant to forge the unknown alone. We were created for community to help one another and to share our experiences in hopes that they will change the lives around us. In the past few months, our world has seen connection and the lack thereof like never before. We have seen how our actions here in our own circles have ripple effects far beyond our families, towns, and even nation. Philosopher Pete Singer explains this phenomenon by the expanding circle. It is human nature to protect those closest to us in our inner circle. As we learn and grow, our circle begins to expand. We soon care about those in our immediate community, followed by our nation, then our world. I love the thought of connection as a circle. It is infinite. It is always growing and reaching. There are no boundaries for how large our circle can get. That is the most beautiful thought, that we can all be connected in one way or another, and that our circle is never really full. As I have grown into who I am today, I can't help but think of how my circle has expanded. As a little girl, I was never short of words. I have always had something to say, and I was invested in every single conversation happening around me. I think that was the first sign of my desire to be connected, to expand my circle. Being surrounded by people I loved was a sort of fulfillment I always longed for. I loved family gatherings and going with my parents to Friday cart nights at their best friend's house. That is where I made my first connection, my best friend, Megan. Although we have lived completely different lives in separate towns, we still go back to the roots of our parents' friendship. When the world allows for gathering again, I will stand beside her as her bridesmaid, just as I did beside her crib at our first sleepover. I'm so lucky to have had my parents' circle become my own. In first grade at my elementary school, I connected with the single most influential person in my life to this day, my best friend Grace. She has been the driving force in everything I've done since then and has remained constant amidst it all. Who knew that our friendship could flourish so much in the basement of our babysitter's house? I'm grateful that my parents never let me jump on the bandwagon of social media in elementary school because I got to experience connection in the most pure, authentic way. However, in sixth grade, I opened my first Instagram account. I started with my account on private, but even then I was able to connect with long lost friends and family members. I started to see the potential of something that would soon change my life. High school was such an integral part in the expansion of my circle. It all started the summer before my freshman year when I took my first trip out of the country. The 10 days I spent in Paris and London with Grace's family opened up my eyes like never before. I finally realized that the world I learned about in textbooks was living and breathing. That trip is the reason I am the connection-hungry person that I am today. There was just something about the broken English conversations at a little cafe overlooking the Eiffel Tower that left me wanting more. The hall of my small town high school is where I felt a sincere community. Being a part of the state-winning dance team taught me the importance of teamwork and the power of invested minds when they come together. Joining Interact Club and later earning the title as one of Rotary International's youngest members shifted the focus away from myself and onto others. Seeing the effects of our actions on the world around you is something everyone needs to experience. Your circle feels smaller, but grows at the same time. Perhaps the best expansion of my circle in high school was finding and falling for a boy halfway across the world. Charlie has shown me culture and connection where our two worlds meet. With every second I spend in the presence of a different culture, the more I want to learn, grow, and connect. It has taught me the power of a simple hello or a where are you from? My favorite thing in the world right now is to hear other stories and I believe that that sprouted from my interest in my British boyfriend's life that started way over in Thailand. Seeing how his family has broken down borders and connected with people across the globe has made me want to do the same. High school was one big process of finding myself and discovering my passion to create. Overcoming adversity and branching out onto YouTube has allowed me to connect with people from all over the world and use my talents to help others do the same. I just wish more people would realize the global potential they could have through a simple social media post, which leads me to today. Making social media into a career is my way of connecting other people and making their circles bigger. Some may say that social media has distracted this process of expanding our circles and communicating. However, I would argue the opposite. Generation Z is the most integrated generation into the global community. They have shown us the potential of connecting with people outside of what we view as our own circles. By using the internet, we can come together and learn about other cultures without even having to leave our bedrooms. Never has there been a time in history that connection is so seamless. 
Gone are the days we have to learn about the world through the pages of an old textbook or, if you're lucky, through an expensive trek across the globe. We have the world in our fingertips. So I want to encourage you to take a look at your own circle. Does it reflect your comfort zone? Because if so, it's definitely not big enough. Step outside your comfort zone. Follow a new account. Ask a question on a YouTube video. Watch how others live their lives. But don't just be a follower. Engage. Interact. Connect. Feel your circle expand and your heart and mind will grow alongside it.